students that we graduate are going to do great things. I grew up with too many smart kids who couldn't go on to school. I want to give people the same opportunity that I had. More and more students are starting to realize the importance of CAA. It's the dedication of our alumni to establish for others those opportunities that Columbia provided for all of us. Nick Yen, the Fu Foundation School of Engineering and Applied Science. Congratulations. When you look at all the engineering schools in, in the world, um, not many actually focus on the liberal arts or humanities as much as Columbia does. I still continue to run the family business and that's manufacturing. And I have my own restaurant, which is kind of like a left brain, right brain thing. I think that's how I think many people have been impacted by Columbia. I started as a tour guide in my sophomore year because I was, I was kind of shy when I, when I came here. So I kind of forced myself to um, learn how to speak up in public. And I chose to become a DJ at KCR. And I also started a karate club here at Columbia. My Japanese professor, starting my second year, um, was Professor um, Keiko Chevre, the chair of the mechanical engineering department at that time was um, Professor René Chevre. So they were actually husband and wife. Second year taking Japanese, I went to Japan to work on an internship. I worked with the Singapore CAA club. Um, in fact, I was one of the first people to, to start the club. This is our 20th anniversary um, this year. What really kind of changed my whole, I guess, purpose in a way um, was my going to the Year's Weekend, first of all, in Hong Kong, and then me being nominated for the CA board. Um, because I learned so much from everyone. I wanted to start a restaurant. Um, but um, even before I started anything, I knew that I wanted to call it Orgo. So Orgo Night is the day before the organic chemistry finals. So everyone's studying hard, but then like at midnight, the band comes in to Butler and starts doing crazy things. So when my son got in, um, obviously he was really excited. And I saw the maturity, even just within one year. And that made me really believe that the core is the core of everything that we do. Peace Hammer waving engineers and applied scientists have each been uniquely amplified by their Columbia experience. To be able to receive them the medal at this stage of development was really a surprise and I think also a great honor. Margie McBride Lehrman. I wanted to help other people become more aware of the world around them and how they could help make it a better place. I grew up in a teeny town in Oregon that happened to have a high school newspaper that won every award available to a high school newspaper of any size in the whole country. I looked at all the graduate schools. The one that appealed to me the most was Columbia because it is such practical experience uh, where you're competing against the New York Times in effect. During our first week, we were all sitting there looking around saying, what am I doing in this class of incredibly talented people? We went out on strike because of the bombing of Cambodia and the Kent State shootings. So we were out the entire month of May, our final month. Years later, at one of our reunions, we always arranged time for just our class to get together in a room. We decided we were going to talk about the strike and how they felt it had affected their career in journalism. I served six years on the alumni board for the journalism school. Then I was assigned to represent the journalism school on a committee, the alumni trustee nominating committee, which helps pick trustees for Columbia University. I've learned so much more about what the other schools contribute and how they fit into the university. I loved every minute of it. We built on the education we received here. 
We are still bonded as a class. We belong to each other, the journalism school, the university, and the bigger world. Part of that it also involves making it possible for the next generation and the generation after that to have the same opportunities that you have. And so that's in part why I give financially. They have the courage of Ida B. Wells, the eloquence of Joan Didion, the biceps of Anderson Cooper. I didn't go to my graduation. They are the alternative to alternative facts. We need them more than ever. We were out on strike, and so this was my commencement. Dr. Thomas Magnani, Dental School, Class of 80. I always wanted to be a dentist since I was about age five. So I chose to go to Columbia. Our first two years were part of the medical school. And then our last two years, we went into the, the dental school and learned our dental education. So we're very medically based, and it's one of the only schools in the country that is. I consider myself basically a physician of the mouth. My patients consider me that also. We had a, a group of us that would go to the Tom and Sells, which was a bar on the other side of Broadway. You gotta remember, in 1976, going across Broadway on 168th Street might have been detrimental to your health. And we'd go to the bar and nobody ever bothered us. I graduated in 1980, and I was put on the prosthetic staff at the dental school. I got a job with, a, with an instruct, with a, a, a professor that I was, who was teaching me at the time when I became mem, uh, head of 1852 Society. Margot Jaffe was the president of the Alumni Association, and Margot and I got together and said, we have to have events. We worked with the CAA and with our Alumni Association. There's much more camaraderie between the students and the faculty today than there was, was when I was there. I love the admissions committee, I'm still on it now. And our new clinic is incredible. It is a center for precision medicine. The 1980s, the greatest class that ever graduated from Columbia College of Dental Medicine. The only class that comes close, of course, is my daughter's class, the class of 2017. I became the class father of the class of 2017. They come to my house in Greenwich and I make meatballs and spaghetti sauce and we sit out there and we have a party. Mr. President, the faculty tells me that they cannot keep them under the thumb any longer. It's humbling because so many people have to really help you to get that award and I think that's the greatest achievement. 